me, Lua, are you Italian? And the answer is, sort of. <laughs> you see, I'm crazy about DNA. I'm nuts about DNA. And I've had my DNA analyzed three times. <laughs> three different uh, organizations. And they have all concluded the same thing, that I am a nice Jewish Eastern European girl from Long Island, New York. <laughs> I grew up across the street from the Terracuso family. And Susie Terracuso was pregnant with her daughter, Rena, at the same time as my mother was pregnant with me, you see. And Susie was the one who taught my mother how to make baked ziti, which increased her repertoire way beyond stuffed cabbage and potato latkes. Now, I won't be saying what year that was, out of deference to Rena and, of course, myself. But here's a true fact, and I know it must be true because I read it on Wikipedia. There have been Jews in Rome for 2,000 years. Uh-huh. So, you know, intermarriage, blood, this is what I'm talking about. Nothing is pure. Where were we before we were in Eastern Europe? We're a wandering people. Right? And I've always, of course, been drawn to Italian culture, so maybe that was it. Or else it was Susie Terracuso's meatballs. <laughs> In those days, my grandmother used to take me to the movies, and she took me to a movie called Lady and the Tramp. And in Lady and the Tramp, there was an adorable scene by Moonlight where a song was being sung, and that song was written by Sonny Burke and Peggy Lee. And to the tune of that song, Two canines in love shared a piece of spaghetti. <laughs>